As much as I love the AirPods Pros, I have to admit that daily driving them with an Android phone is not the greatest experience. Not because Apple couldn't make it so, but because they choose not to. Oh no, you aren't enough our customer. You have to buy more of our products to deserve to be able to update your firmware. Which is why I'm super, super excited about Sony's WF-1000 XM4s. They need a better name for these things. It's like, do I want AirPods Pro or do I want WF-1000 XM4? I'm really hoping that I want the WF-1000 XM4. These have Sony's new integrated V1 processor, which is supposed to give them much better active noise cancellation than their previous generation product. They also have actually a comparably sized battery case compared to the AirPods Pros. Look at that, it is a little bit thicker, but the most important thing is whether it passes the little pocket test for me. Okay, Dennis, little pocket test. Ah, oh, it's a little bulky. It's a little bulky. Here's the AirPods Pros for context. Okay. No one, no one uses that pocket. Yes, they do. They use them for AirPods. I'm starting this trend. <laughs> I'm a trendy kind of guy. Charging is handled with USB type C and opening it up, we can see a little charge indicator right there and the earphones themselves. Okay, so much like most other wireless earphones, they've got these little push pin connectors that charge the actual earphones themselves. So you're supposed to get eight hours with active noise cancellation enabled and then another 16 hours from the battery charging case for a total of 24. So why do I keep comparing them to the AirPods Pro? Because <laughs> the spec for spec, they're pretty darn close. Now we actually got two versions. We got the white one and then we also got this press kit that has the black one. <clears throat> And I wanted to see both because as much as I like the AirPods Pros, I don't like the color. I don't think anything that you stick in your ear should be white. And I would really rather have black earphones. So this is the one I'm most excited about. Okay, so here's the color. Ooh. Okay, I can see how people could get into the kind of earthy tone white ones. I wouldn't even call it white. It's more of like a, like it reminds me of like stone, like kind of a stone color, but the black ones look pretty sharp. Oh, look at that. All recyclable packaging, paper. Uh, what do we got in here? Okay, so they come with the medium tips pre-installed and then they also include small and large ones color coded and you get a type C charging cable. I don't know if my high expectations are because I think they will be good or because I'm just really, really hoping that they're good. Let's start with just a fit test. Interesting. They're using a memory foam style ear tip. The advantage of these is they provide an excellent seal against the ear canal with very little noise bleed, but the disadvantage is that they are not the best in terms of durability. Now, apparently they've got four microphones total now. So two on each one, one microphone on the outside, that's gonna be for hearing ambient sound around you that it needs to cancel. Oh, wow, it, <laughs> this noise canceling kicked in. I can barely hear myself talk now. I mean, I can like inside my own head, but that, just everything whew, went away. And then they have a second microphone on the inside for checking that the noise canceling is working well. So the four of them all work together. Uh, let's go ahead and get these paired though. And then we'll try it out. Look at that. Just showed right up, connect. The ANC on these is eerily good. Like I, I'm just, I mean, I can tell, I can tell you're talking Brandon, but I, I, I can read your lips, I can't really understand. I'm speaking at a normal volume, but you can't hear anything. Just barely. Wow. It's pretty good in terms of the pressure feeling on my ears as well. Um, I would say it is maybe not quite as good as the AirPods Pros, but it's also a significantly stronger active noise canceling effect. That's really, really impressive. I would say a lot of that probably comes down to using the foam style ear tips rather than uh, like a silicone style ear tips, but obviously the microphone tech plays into it very heavily as well. So when I'm running, it's gonna let ambient sound through. And then you can decide exactly what level of ambient sound you want to allow through. So all the background noise of the warehouse just went away, but what if I talk to Jono? Yeah, I can, I can hear you, but it's 
It's quiet. If I had music on, I probably wouldn't be able to hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry, the noise cancellation. Sorry, what? Send your ear pics. Send your ear pics. That's creepy! <laughs> Remove the headphones from your ears. Okay. Next, turn your face forwards and fit it within the frame on the screen. Please move the camera away from your head. Turn your head slowly to the right. Captured photo. <laughs> what the? That's my left ear, apparently. Hold on, why don't we try that again? Okay, got my ear that time. Please captured photo. Analyzing your ears. This will take approximately 30 seconds. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped hooked us up with their new performance package kit, which comes with a ton of stuff. Their new lawnmower waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts. Their crop preserver, ball deodorant their Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, and their new Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Kit. Just go to manscaped.com slash circuit to get 20% off plus free international shipping. Plus, you'll get their Shed Travel Bag and a pair of their anti-chafing boxer briefs available for a limited time. So within the app, you can prioritize sound quality, so it'll use the highest quality codec that it can. Um, it does support LDAC, so that's pretty sweet. Or you can prioritize a more stable connection. And then I found out what DSEE Extreme is. So maybe I don't have to reactivate my Apple Music subscription because supposedly it'll actually use the V1 processor to upscale more lossy files. So here we go. This is great. All the EQ presets you could want or just off. You can set a couple of custom ones. That's awesome. Wait. Manual, how do I adjust it? I can't do it. Okay, well, whatever. If that actually works, then I guess it'll be pretty neat. These sound great. Like, they sound really good. Punchy, not overdone, great clarity in the highs. Now I feel like I gotta throw in the AirPods Pros just to kind of side by side them. The AirPods Pros, to be clear, are not, you know, the benchmark against which all headphones are measured. They're not great sounding headphones, but what they are is excellent active noise cancellation earphones that are super convenient. Oh wow, by comparison, these just seem like I don't even have noise cancellation on. <laughs> the difference is way more than I thought when I hadn't side-by-sided them yet. Man, I don't know if I can go back. The case is kind of thicker though, which is a pain in the butt and they're not cheap. They're almost 300 US dollars. Type-C charging though means I no longer have to have lightning cables in my life. But then I rarely use lightning anyway. Do they have wireless charging? Mm -hmm. They do have wireless charging. Okay. They're just not really that comparable to be honest with you. But there's more to earphones than sound quality. And what Apple does really well is ergonomics. These are so comfortable. And something that I do that probably most people don't is I sleep with earphones in every night. Yeah, they are, they're not as comfortable. The tighter seal against the ear, the fact that they're so bulky. So you can see like the size difference is marked. All right, let's try the other thing. So apparently they've really tuned it to deal with wind noise. Select this if wind noise is bothersome. Using this function shortens continuous playback time. So I guess I'm not supposed to be able to hear that fan. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, it works really well. So I'm getting that exact same effect. Like the, <sighs> the kind of kind of sounds like someone flapping a flag in the wind or something as the as the wind passes over the mic. Oh, that's really cool. So the noise cancellation is what takes away the actual like whirring. But then the wind noise reduction is what takes away the sound of the wind blowing over the mic. That's, that works surprisingly well. I really like these. I'm impressed. I think I'm gonna try and make the switch because they really do sound a lot better. Subscribe to Short Circuit. The case hinge also is not as, yeah, it's all right. This is like so satisfying as a fidget toy. This is like, yeah, it's all right. That's a very minor gripe, obviously. <laughs>